Hey there everyone, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for watching. I just wanted to quickly jump onto YouTube and talk about a new feature I stumbled across in the new Hyper Backup app. Now at the time of this film it's still in beta, it's version 4.1.0 I think. Now this is interesting because this might indicate a whole new route Synology might be taking here. I'm talking about the capability to backup your entire NAS, not just the data on the NAS but the entire NAS. Now. Towards the end of the video, I would really like to know in the comments what's your take on this feature, are you going to use it, is it interesting for you? Especially given that not too long ago, an almost parallel capability was introduced into Active Backup for Business. So, instead of just continuing to jabber here, let me just jump over to the computer and start showing you stuff. Join me. Alright guys, so we are at the computer and you will have to excuse my voice, I'm a little bit with a sore throat. So I jumped onto the computer and I want to make it as clear as possible. This is not a tutorial by any means, I'm just showing you something I stumbled across and I, again, I will repeat it towards the end of the video, I'm very interested to know what you guys think about it, let me know in the comments below. So. If you go to the package center, if you're on DSM 7.2, if you go to the package center and go to beta packages, you'll find a, a new version of Hyper Backup. It's version 4.1.0.-3425. In the compatibility and installation, you will see that there's a new functionality to entire system backup is supported on specific models, not on all models, but this is exactly what I've stumbled across if I'll close out of here and I'll launch Hyper Backup, which is by far the most mainstream backup application Synology NAS users usually use, I myself included. If you go to the plus button to create, now you'll have a sort of a menu or a wizard and onto which they've added entire system in beta right now. And if I'll go ahead and click on next, let me try to include my off-site Synology NAS. Let's try to log in. All right, we'll select a shared folder and let's click on next. You can see that in nowhere in the process it asks me which shared folders I want to backup like usually Hyper Backup does. It doesn't ask me and I just have to pick a schedule or name the task and click on next. My rotation, it asks me for the rotation, click on next, and that's it, done. You don't get to select anything, it's, an, it's a real entire system backup, and as far as I was able to understand, it backs up all your shared folders, settings, applications, application settings, everything and everything. I'm not going to click on done because I do not want to start the process but you get the hang of what they're trying to achieve here. And again, what's more interesting, and that brings me to my next point, let's say you've just suffered a catastrophic loss and you had to buy a new NAS or a, a maybe a factory reset your NAS and you'll go to Hyper Backup, which will be empty at this point, and you'll click on Restore. You will be able to select Entire System, click on Next, it tells you that it will take you to the control panel, which might ring a bell. Let's click on got it. And now it takes you to the system recovery and now you have you can choose back active backup for business or hyper backup vault, which is it brings me right next to my next point. Why would Synology pay good money to software developers 
to redevelop a capability that's already been introduced not too long ago into active backup for business. In fact, if I launch, if I'll cancel out of here, and if I launch active backup for business, not too long ago, this Synology NES backup feature was introduced. I think it was about six or maybe eight months ago, it was still in beta. It's a fairly new capability, and now it's overlapping with the new capability of hyper backup. So guys, this that's just what I stumbled across. And again, this might indicate a new direction Synology might be taking here, but I do not yet have all the answers, nor did I have enough resources to uh, actually test it myself. I am interested in what you guys think about it. Does that interest you at all? Do you see yourself using this feature? Do you even have an off-site NES you uh, currently uh, back up precious data to? So guys, let me know in the comments. I really do want to know what you guys think about it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.